Hello everyone, it's Dr. Griff SLP again. And today we're going to practice the k sound. K. Sometimes you might have to take your hand and put it in the base of your throat. K. K. If you can feel it, that's where you're supposed to produce the k sound. It's in the back of your throat. So as we practice the k sound, I'm going to hold up an object. And for each object, we're going to see if we can practice two times. Some of these things may not start with the letter K, but they will start with the sound k. If you need to put your hand right here in the base of your throat, every time you say the k, sound. That's fine. You'll get used to saying k like this. Cracker. K is in there two times. We're just focusing on the first k sound. And right now we're just saying k by itself. You're just saying k by itself. K, k. Make sure your mouth is open. Don't let your teeth touch. K. Cane. K, k. Carrot. Camera. K, k. You can use one finger too instead of your whole hand. Candy. K, k. Car. K, k. Cup. Can. K, k. We got a chance to practice our k sound by itself. Want to see if we can try it in syllables? Let's see. First, we'll start with ka. K, ah. K, ah. A little bit faster. K, ah. K, ah. Ka. Ka. We just produced the syllable ka. How about k? I, kai, as in kite. K, I, k, I, k, I. A little bit faster. K, I, kai, kai, kai. We just said the syllable kai. What if you're trying to say the k sound in the beginning of some words? Like car. Let's try k r k r k r k r. How about candy? K andy. It's a two syllable word. Take your time. Andy, or just k an, k an, k an, can, faster, can, can, yay! All right, I hope you had fun today with me. I sure had fun. Enjoy practicing. Happy practicing with your teacher or your therapist, or your parents. Have fun!